for another video and today we are um, giving you information about the new sun and moon information which we found about out about today at two o'clock but the video is coming out a bit later than that because we need to get it prepared get it recorded and everything so let's get right into it so then first of all what i want to talk about is um what we've seen as the pokedex it's rotom has jumped into the Pokedex, and we've got a Rotomer Dex. Um, and what it was saying on um, on the website was about how um, it's like your bond between your Rotom and you is really strong because it's in your Pokedex. So uh, I think that's cool. I think it looks awesome. And I'm hoping we'll see some more new Rotom forms um, in the game as well if they're adding in the Pokedex form. Okay, next we've got um, Solgaleo, and let, uh, he has um, been revealed as he's called Solgaleo now, and the tortoise is typing, which is Psychic and Steel. And this is what it says about him on the um, the website. Go for um, it. Um, and by the way, this is Pokegirl speaking for this bit. Go for it. Okay, since ancient times, so Solgaleo. Solgaleo has been honoured as an emissary of the sun it is referred to with reference as the beast that devours the sun oh that's nice so Sol Solgaleo's body holds a vast amount of energy and it shines with light when it when it's active it has a flowing mane with a, with a remarkable resemblance to the sun its signature move is sun steel strike an attack that charges at an opponent with a force of a meter, disregarding the attack's ability. Disregard okay, disregarding so the target's ability, sorry. Solgaleo's so ability is full metal body, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has, has had. With the full metal body ability, Pokemon's stats will not be lowered by the effects of an opponent's moves or ability. So that could be very good and competitive, um, especially when strategy yeah. comes around. If there's another tournament, a bit like this year's VGC with legendaries in, he could come in, destroy an intimidate a team built around swapping and intimidating you. And next we've got Lunala, um, which has been revealed to be called Lunala and also to have the typing of psychic and ghost. This is the moon I, legendary. I really like it's really cool actually. Go for it. Wings are like Re read out Rotom's Pokedex entry. Rotom's Pokedex entry. It's Lunala's. Yeah, sorry. Lu yeah. yeah, just go for it. Lu Lunala. Lunala. Since ancient times. Sorry. Since ancient times, Lunala has been honoured as an emissary of the moon. Just like Surprise. Sargelia. Surprise! It is referred to with reference as the beast that calls the moon. What, does it shout? Well, what it means is a bit like uh, when the moon comes up at night, Solgaleo makes it come up. Even though that's not how it works, we know. Yeah, anyway, go on. I forgot to. Oh, yeah. E Lunana is constantly absor absorbing. Absorbing. Obs it's not absorbing, it's absorbing light and controver converting. Con Converting it into energy. I think the problem is there is where the um, the stars are. It's kind of making the eye look like it's got two dots. With its wings spread to absorb the surrounding light and <coughs> and glittering like a crescent moon, it resembles a beautiful night sky. Lulana's signature. Lulana's signature. Move. Signature. Move, which is not there. Moon gif. Moon geist beam. That looks like a beam. Um, att an attack releases an ominous beam of light that disregards the target's ability. Just like um, Solgaleo. Lulana's L Lulana's ability is Shadow Shield, a new ability that no previous Pokemon has ever had. Surprise, surprise. What is Shadow Shield ability? That's like a type of the Shadow Shield ability. A looks like a Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon will take less damage from an attack that lands when the Pokemon is full HP. Okay then. So um, 
Yeah, that's interesting. Let's go. Okay, so this is the new region, the Alola region. Before the Aloha region. The, Alo the Alola, isn't it? I don't know. The, Alo Just the Alola region. The Alo something region. The Alola region. So before now, we only had, I think it was this island here. But now we've got all of the islands, which, which is, is that? awesome. Is that just, hole? No, no, no. This was just one of the islands that they revealed in the trailer. Why looks like a hole in the I think it was that one, wasn't it? it or was like it this one? The one where it's a bit like a hole. Which one was it? No, it was definitely this one because it had the docks had the, um, and the mound. Anyway, continue, continue, continue. Next of all, next we've got. So your characters are those two ones in the middle. And I thought you got to pick which character you were. Yeah, no, you've got to pick one and then you can customise it. So that's like yeah. the. The, what, the characters that you'll see on the back of the box, or the characters you'll see in the trailers, are those two, but you can customise the yeah. skin tone. I'm pretty sure you can probably customise the clothes. Can you customise the hair? Um, yes, the hair. Brilliant. I don't really know anything else. That's all I know. And then the other characters are Lily and How. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, oh. Um, Sorry about my bangs. How okay. is your friend? Yeah, and Lily, and Lily is, is the, the professor's, professor's assistant. but Mysterious it, assistant. Yes, but it does sound like that she'll have a big part to play. So. Why is she so white? I don't know. Anyway, next is Professor Cookie. 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 Um, Cookie. So that's the professor that, that Lily's the assistant of. And finally, um, we've got something, well, we've got, we've got something brand picture. new. It is QR codes for Pokemon. So. From what I am guessing, from what I've seen so far, is that you scan the QR code and it gives you the Pokedex for the Pokedex entry for the Pokemon you scan. That doesn't seem too special because you can probably find oh, it in the game. I don't really know. That's all I know so far. You could We're not get sure it. Yet. Um, I'm not Ow. really sure. It could be a bit like how they uh, a new way of giving events rather than. Um, yeah, but I anyway, don't know. Continue, continue. Well, it might be a bit more like Yokai Watch, where it, you Yo scan Watch. it. I don't think any, everyone knows what Yokai Watch is. But basically, you scan something, you get a face, and it resembles a thing. So the QR code could just summon in a Pokemon or something. That'd be so funny. Okay, so that's, um, that's all for this is new it? update. Yep. Are you um, sure? Yes. Have you forgot anything? No, that's everything, I think. Are you um, sure? But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Um, goodbye! Bye!